Hi Victoria, so we'll have a quick go at this on the fly. So I've created a file which has got some English text with these brackets you have and some Russian text with the brackets you have as well. So this is sort of like the file you're going to have, but it's the other way around, I guess. Russian to English, not English to Russian. I can't do that way around. So um, what you need to do, you can do it either with the file open like this or you can close the file and just do it through the projects. But I'll do it from here because the process is the same. I go to my batch tasks and I'm going to go to protect data, which you should have in your list of tasks there because this is installed by the data protection suite. So you click on that and it should open up a little wizard after it's closed the file. And that wizard should allow you to click on next. And then the best thing to do, I'd say, is just delete all the rules that are in there. So just click on that button at the top there and then press delete to remove them because we don't want any of those existing example rules. And then click on add new. Um, we'll enable it. The regex pattern, we're looking for this or, so use the pipe symbol, this. So this, we'll just call this angle brackets. Doesn't really matter what you call that there. We don't need to encrypt it, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so then I'm just going to say finish. Close and open the file. And you should have something like this. If you go to your view menu, because it looks horrible like that, and um, reduce the size of the tags to maybe this one here, full tag text, and then you haven't got to look at the codes and it's much more easy for you to see. And so that should do exactly what you want. It's all closed with placeholders like that. So you can translate them, you can place them. Um, and then all you need to do when you've finished translating it or up updated your TM, plus if you're just updating your TM, that's it. Now you just import this file or, or run a batch test to update it into your TM. That's it. So fairly straightforward. If you were doing this in a translation project and you wanted to get the target file out, then it, it's a good idea to remove the tags that you put in there before you take before you do the um, save target. In your case, you're not going to be doing that, but just to show you how it's done, you go back to the home view. So when you're finished, click on batch tasks again, click on unprotect data for the same project. It should bring up the little wizard again once the file is closed. Click on next and then just finish. And then when the file opens up, all the tags should be gone. And hopefully everything is still perfect. So that's how you do it. Really straightforward and very simple. If you did want to do it from, I'll just close the file. If you did want to do it from the projects view, just in case you couldn't find it, um, or in the files view anyway, from here, you select the file you want to do it with, go to batch tasks. There's your protect data and unprotect data. If you're in the projects view, you have exactly the same thing. So against the file, there's my file down there. I can go to my, Ooh, where are the batch tasks and you've got it there. You can also right click and run your batch tasks from here as well. So there's a whole bunch of places in which you can get at those, but it's very straightforward and I'm sure you'll be able to do it with that help.